Hi, and welcome to Market Conversations. Just want to do a quick video on Alibaba. It is currently down 1%. We did see it try to break this 122.37 resistance pre-market, but it couldn't break that. I did not expect it to drop this much. But before I continue, just want to let you know that I am not a financial advisor. This is just for entertainment purposes. So I have a Discord, and we are doing some 1K challenge if you guys are interested. We already made money on Airbnb and Shopify. And today, I was able to alert some zero, DTE if, zero DTEs if you guys are interested. And zero DTEs, we have Mondays, Wednesday, and Fridays to do them. So I'll go ahead and leave my Discord link in the description below. Definitely come check it out. So the reason why it's currently down 1% is because an analyst from Trust Securities slashed the price from $200 to 180 but reiterated a buy rating. This is what I don't get, how they can still have a buy rating, but then reduces the price target. But that's okay because Alibaba is way below 180 I don't know when it's going to be 180 or what it's going to take because if we take a look at a six months chart the stock was at 200 not too long ago and then just this past few weeks try to break 135 couldn't and now we are at another very strong support around 116 117 it did hit a low of 108 i hope we don't see that but if you are still concerned that Alibaba can continue to go down. What you want to do is you want to hedge your portfolio. That is either buying puts or buying put debit spreads. So let's just take a quick look and see how much it is. We don't know where Alibaba is going to be in the next three to six months, but we know that Alibaba is undervalued and it's going to go to 200, but when we don't know. So all I can really suggest is to just buy shares or buy leaps. Leaps are options that are one year or longer, but even leaps right now, they're still unsafe because people who have bought leaps a year ago that expires this year are down tremendously. So best thing to do is just buy shares, sell cash secure puts, receive the premium, and use that money to buy shares. But if you are holding Alibaba, and you have a large position, we can hedge by buying puts. Take a look at some puts here. The 100 strikes are going for $380. It's not bad, but if you do want it a little cheaper, what you can do is turn this into a put debit spread. So we're going to buy the 105 and we're going to sell the 100 strike. Our cost is at 118 and we can make a max profit of 382. I know it's not a lot of money, but believe me, if the stock is going down, you're going to want to take any type of profit that you can. We have seen the market go down up 100 points. A lot of people have been margin called because they are heavily leveraged. I would be very cautious. So even just a little bit of hedging your portfolio does help in the long run if the stock continues to go down. So that's all I wanted to share, guys. Are you buying the dip? Let me know in the comments down below and definitely come check out the Discord. Hope to see you there.